Hi, I'm Roy from Elementor, and welcome to yet another first look. Today, we'll be unpacking Elementor version 324. This version brings you variable fonts, giving you the flexibility you need to make stunning text designs and animations. We are also excited to introduce floating bars, allowing you to place sticky bars at the top or bottom of your page so that visitors never miss important communications and promotions. Of course, performance is always a top priority for us at Elementor, and today, I'm going to tell you all about conditional CSS loading, a feature that makes your websites much faster, reducing the CSS size by up to 660 kilobytes. Lastly, a few important workflow enhancements to further streamline your web building process. The first feature we will be taking a look at is variable fonts, bringing unparalleled flexibility and control to text design. By simply uploading a TTF file from sources like Google Fonts, you can now fluidly adjust text weight and width with incredible precision. When using only static fonts, designers are confined to adjusting text weight and width in rigid increments of 100 pixels, which sometimes limits design flexibility. Now, starting from version 324, variable fonts will enable changes in single increments, ensuring full control over customization, enabling more dynamic and engaging designs. Let's see it in action. First, we go to the WordPress dashboard, Elementor, and Custom Fonts. Click Add New, and give your new font a name. Add Variable Fonts. Now we can upload our TTF file. I got this one from Google Fonts, but you can add any custom font. With Variable Fonts, it's crucial to set the correct width and weight values. If I'm using a Google Font, for example, I can find the values here, under the Type Tester. Select the Weight and Width checkboxes, set the values based on the font's properties, and don't forget to publish. Now let's explore the new variable fonts in the editor. I want this title to stand out more. Let's see what I can do with it. When editing text and navigating to the typography control, you can find the new fonts at the top of the font family selection under variable fonts. And here are new sliders that help us control the weight and width when using custom CSS, variable fonts also enable text animation to smoothly transition between different weights and widths without abrupt jumps. You can now create text that morph gracefully, enhancing visual storytelling and viewer engagement. Updating to Elementor 324 empowers you to increase conversion by adding a pre-designed floating bar at the top or bottom of your page. You can use a floating bar to promote a coupon code, highlight flash sales, display sign-up links, and so much more. Similar to the floating contact buttons that were introduced in the previous release, the floating bars are pre-made templates that make your website building process so much easier. We have three floating bar types, CTA, ticker, and coupon. Let's start off by taking a look at the CTA bar, which is available to everyone creating with Elementor. First, ensure that the Flexbox container feature is enabled through the Elementor settings in the WordPress dashboard. The floating bars are accessed from the New Floating Elements tab under Templates. Once we click Add New, we'll be able to choose between a button and a bar. Now, let's choose a CTA template to start with. As you can see, there are over 30. You can use the CTA floating bar for simple call to action banners or CTAs such as learn more, shop now, save your spots, and so much more, making sure visitors never miss important promotions. I want my visitors to stay on track of sales and new magazines by joining my newsletter. Let's create a floating CTA bar for that. I can customize the content, the colors, the shape of the button, and more. I can choose to place it at the top or bottom of my page. There we go. The second floating bar type is the ticker, available with Elementor Pro. It provides an infinite loop displaying whatever content you choose. The upcoming magazine is being published next week. Let's go ahead and highlight that. The ticker can also be useful when I want multiple messages at the top or bottom of my page. And again, I can customize just about everything. I can even set the ticker to either play automatically or on page scroll.
Lastly, for this online magazine, I want to encourage visitors to purchase a new subscription by providing them with a very attractive coupon code. This is where the coupon floating bar comes in handy, available with Elementor Pro. The coupon floating bar also comes with a built-in capability of copying the coupon code directly to the visitor's clipboard with just a click, which improves the visitor experience and boosts conversion. So, I want to see how this bar works, but before that, we need to set some display conditions. With Elementor Pro, we can control when, where, and to who the bars will appear. If you are using the free version of Elementor, your floating bar will be displayed site-wide. Just click the coupon code to copy it. Now, paste at checkout. As simple as that. Elementor 324 marks a significant performance milestone with conditional and improved CSS loading. This feature ensures that only the CSS necessary for a page is being loaded, making your websites much faster. We are now making conditional CSS loading native for all websites who update to version 324. As a result, websites that have previously activated the improved CSS loading feature will experience an additional reduction of up to 145 kilobytes in CSS size, while websites who are new to this feature will experience a CSS reduction of up to 660 kilobytes. This strategic optimization addresses our continued commitment to significantly enhance site performance for all Elementor users. This upgrade not only streamlines your design process, but also ensures that your website remains swift and efficient, directly improving SEO rankings and visitor satisfaction. Some elements on your websites are not meant to be displayed to all visitors at all times. Display conditions is a very useful feature that enables us to control when, where, and to who content is being displayed. With the Elementor Pro version 324, we introduced three main workflow improvements for display conditions. Number one, new visual indicators for display conditions in the navigator. When setting a display condition for an element, a vertical line now appears on the affected section in the navigator, as well as a dedicated icon on hover. This enhancements allow us to quickly ascertain what sections have conditions set and seamlessly outsource them. This joins the indications you see when applying custom CSS, absolute position, or motion effects. Number two, copy pasting display conditions. You can now replicate settings across various elements and pages effortlessly, eliminating the need to manually set repetitive conditions. If an element has a display condition set to it, I'll just right click, copy, then go to another element and paste display conditions. Effortless, just like that. Number three, clear display conditions. By right-clicking on an element, I can also clear display conditions instantly, just one click. It's small features like these that make a huge difference to our workflow and really streamline our design process. Based on your feedback, this version also includes further enhancements to the new search widget introduced in the previous release that is now also a native part of the editor. First, the result page URL will be shorter for a better visitor experience and workflow. Second, you'll see a new button in the content tab that will take you directly to the theme builder to create a new loop template for your search results dropdown. Third, you can now seamlessly adjust the width of the search results dropdown and even stretch it through the entire widget, including the search button. And last but not least, you can customize the search loader's display and its design. And for today's final update, while Elementor AI features are incredibly useful to improving your workflow and have been found to save time and increase inspiration, following your requests, we have provided the option to disable these features and notices for anyone who may want to. AI features can now be disabled by navigating to the WordPress dashboard. And in the user section within each profile, you'll see the option to uncheck the box for enable Elementor AI functionality. So that's Elementor version 324, boosting visitor engagement and conversions with floating bars, enhancing creative freedom with variable fonts, streamlining workflow with display conditions, and optimizing CSS delivery for faster loading times. As always, please let us know what you think in the comment section below, and we look forward to seeing your results in the global Elementor community. I'm Roy from Elementor. 
until next time.